What's up everyone, it's B Gaming here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade your 500 uh, gigabyte PS4 into a one terabyte PS4. So, holiday season is coming up, go and get more video games. You need more storage space for those games. While my friends asked me how to do this, I explained to them, and they still don't get them. Well, some of them didn't. And uh, this is basically this video for them, pretty much. So what you're going to need is obviously a new one terabyte hard drive, no bigger than 2.5, okay? No bigger than that, or it will not be compatible with the PS4. You obviously need the USB uh, cable, so because when you uh, put in the new hard drive, your controller will not connect to the PS4, so you're going to need that. You're going to need a screwdriver. And you're going to need one, two uh, flash drives. Now, for the first flash drive, you need to put in software. Now, so what you do is you go to the official PlayStation software a website. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, so basically, you go there, you download the software. It should be called uh, PS4 Update Dot PUP. And then it should have like a white page as icon. So when you download that into the flash drive, make sure you make two files, two new files inside the flash drive. The first one will be PS4, all capitalized, and then the next one will be update, all capitalized. So you put the software inside the update file, and you put the update file inside the PS4 uh, file. So that's basically this one right here. Second flash drive, this is optional, you can uh, download your save files into the into this flash drive that's one way to save your game progress you don't want to start over that's one way to save it there's another way to save it if you're a PSN member you can actually upload your save files into the PSN cloud store okay so that's another way to save your game files so basically I'm just going to show you how to undo the top and then Put in the PS4, uh, this PS4, uh, one terabyte hard drive. So let's see if I can do this one handed. You just get this part and push against the PS4. So let's see if I'm gonna try it with one hand. So, yeah, really easy. Take it off. And right there, right here in this area, is where the hard drive is. So here is a little screw right here. So you just get a screwdriver and you just unscrew it. Let's see. By the way, it's magnetic. So. I don't have to lose this screw. So you unscrew it. And there's a little neat design on the actual screw itself. I'm going to show you what you can see if you can uh, see if it'll focus. Oh, did it focus? For a second, I thought it would focus. There we go. Oh, you saw it for a second. I think I saw it for a second. Well, it has the Y, X, O, and square on it. I think that's neat. Okay, so you just have to use the screw. You just pop it out, and there it is. The 500 gigabytes. Uh, flash drive. Not flash drive, but hard drive. And you just unscrew these right here. One, two, three, four. And uh, you just unscrew these and put, and put this into that. So that. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna screw it in. So I'll be right back. All right, we're back now. And the reason I decided to cut out is because I knew it was going to be awkward trying to unscrew four screws and you know record at the same time. So yeah, but this is neat. Like this is where the screws holes are. The uh, hard drives have these little screw holes, so it's perfect for the PS4. You can tell each one four sides. So when you uh. Put the hard drive back in make sure when it's back in this case make sure it goes in the word like this you can see how it goes so we're just going to put it back in like so and uh just screw this top part back on and i'm going to cut out one more time to show you uh how to uh put the software back in to the ps4 I'm going to connect it to my TV, so I'll be right back. Alright then, we're going to uh, be turning on the PS4 now. Make sure your flash drive is inside it before you turn it on. And we're going to put on safe mode. So what you do is, you uh, hold your finger on the power button. And don't let it go until the second beep. It should be uh, like 5 to 10 in the seconds. All right, then let it go after you hear that second beep. Make sure you have your cord and your controller. All 
All right. Go to uh, the insulation. Like that. Click yes. Okay. Oh, and it is working now. It is working. Sweet. Oops, dropped my controller. Okay. So this is just the uh, basic uh, settings. You just select your settings. Okay, I'm just going to connect my Wi Fi. I might cut this off, uh, cut this out of the video. I'm just going to connect it right now. Connect it right now. Be right back. All right, guys. That's basically it. Now you can see I have a lot more uh, memory because of the one terabyte hard drive. Um, see, after you're done uh, uploading the software into your PS4, all you have to do is connect it to the internet, type in your time zone, uh, like agree to this uh, the PlayStation clause, and then sign in your PSN. And after that, you just have to now down, download um, your scheme save files to the PS4, and you're good as dandy. I hope this was helpful to uh, some people, some of you guys. Uh, hope some of you guys are my friends. I hope now you guys know how to do it. I've been explaining to you guys. Now I show you guys. Hope you get the gist now. And uh, if you, anyone uh, thought this video was helpful, leave a, leave a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I'm also going to uh, leave the link down in the description of the where I got the hard drive, uh, the official PlayStation uh, software site where you get it, and the video that actually helped me uh, figure out the issue I was having with the software itself. Uh, yeah, so all that will just be linked in the description. Go ahead and check that out. Uh, and um well that's all for today have a nice day guys laters